Hello, I am Charlie Craig, Dickinson class of 65, and I'm happy to share my thoughts on how Dickinson and liberal arts shaped my 46 year career in R&D at Corning Incorporated, the world's largest producer of optical fiber, glass for LCD displays, ceramics for catalytic converters, Gorilla Glass for smartphones, and a wide array of products for life sciences, including millions of specialized glass vials that will be produced for the distribution of COVID vaccines. I majored in chemistry and minored in geology at Dickinson. I met Trudy, an exchange student from Peru in my junior year, and traveled to Peru upon graduation. There I secured a job as a research chemist in a large American mining and metals company where my chemistry and geology training matched nicely. My wife and I married in Peru and had two children. After five years of experiencing the extremely rich cultures in Peru, I returned to the U.S. for graduate school in chemistry and material science. Four years later, I joined Corning's engineering division in Corning, New York. Now, I'm a big fan of a solid liberal arts undergraduate education, followed by a work experience in graduate school in that order. Dickinson broadened my perspectives on just about everything, developed my appreciation for the diversity of individuals and their cultural backgrounds, and stimulated my interest in the social sciences, dimensions that influenced and strengthened my career from day one. My current position is Senior Vice President for Administration and Operations at Corning's R&D Center, a large facility with 2,000 staff from 50 different countries. I tend to focus not only on science and technology, but also on the social elements of R&D. Part of my role is to ensure the vitality of Corning's 150-year foundation in R&D, enabling colleagues to create and deliver the next generation of life-changing innovations. My liberal arts education at Dickinson over 50 years ago has been a lifelong influence on my career and family. I hope it has been or will be for you too. Thanks for listening.